this is supposed to be a GPS monitor that I can attach to um, perhaps a drone um, or I could put my wife's car if I want to see where she's been going. Put my kid's car over there. You're growing up and gone away. Anyway, so let's go see what this is. Hi, welcome back to the Like Tech Channel. I'm your host, Joel Lucatcher, and we're trying out something new here. This is a Trackamo. This is a GPS tracker that I recently acquired, and the idea was, well, if my drone should fly away, I can find it, or I just want to see where it was exactly. This is an app on my phone and my computer where I can see where it's been, and the recordings are held for up to a year. So I put a little Velcro right on the top, have to keep it away from the GPS, it was a bit of a trouble finding where to place it on a Typhoon H. On a Phantom 4, they have carriers you could attach for this. On my Autel, uh, it looks like I have plenty of places on the front and underneath I can put it out of the way. But the Typhoon's kind of Spartan. So this also comes with a waterproof case, which I'm going to put on. And as you can see, if I just press this button here, I don't know if you can see, two blue lights. It has GPS and it has um, GMS sync. This works on a cellular network. So I'm just going to put it inside its waterproof sleeve, bumper guard, whatever you want to call it. It's got some very strong Velcro and I'm going to put it on as hard as I can because the last thing I want to track is my lost tracker. I want to make sure it really is good there. All right. Now you see it's right practically over the Typhoon name and uh, let's go put it up and see how it works. All right, okay, we're getting ready to take off. Powering on. And lift off. Gear up. Collision on. We're not really doing too much. We just want to see if the tracker catches it. It's supposed to like pick it up once a minute. And I'm flying line of sight in angle mode. And I'm going to just make a big circle and bring it right back home. And we'll see how the tracker works. Turn a little, a little that way, a little down, a little back, a little over, a little forward. Little over, forward, over, and down. And that concludes the tracking portion of our field test. Let's go see on the computer how the tracking did. This is the website for the Trackamo, and it shows the most current vector of where it last saw my GPS, which is almost at my home. It's off by a few streets. And if I zoom out here, it shows my whole area. And what I've got it set to track every one minute, which could be from one minute to two hours. For one minute, would give me the most points. And I select my history of the last 24 hours. And you can see home as the crow flies. I went to Vista View Park. I did my stuff. I drove back home and I did some other stuff. But what I'm more concerned about is right here. And I'm going to zoom in here to get the park. And I see where I was flying around. I like to hit the satellite view. And there I am. And I can even zoom closer. And this is where I usually park my car. Now you'll notice these stars. Now I had driven, flown all around this field here for my demo. I really expected a lot more waypoints. But as you can see from about this point here... Uh, I'm at zero miles an hour at 11.32, and you can see from these little arrows, the vector comes out to this point. At 11.44, I was flying at 22 miles an hour, and then it flew back to, I think, this point, 11.50 a.m. And from this point, it looks like it stopped or might have gone to this point, 11.50. No, I'm not sure what the next point is. But eventually flew out here at 11.14. Okay, this was an earlier point. This was an earlier flight. This was a later, later flight. 
Well, that's it for the Trackama website. But here's where it is valuable to me. Let's say my drone got loose from me. I lost it, and it kept flying in this vector. And it came all the way over here to Robbins Park and landed, say, right there. Well, I would have then seen a vector flying from here to here, and it obviously would have been stopped there for a while. I could have even uh, marked this bot on my phone app, and using the phone app, I could have driven over here and recovered my drone. And that's really what it's all about. Mm -hmm.